once lived in the land of the free, free to worship the God of my kin. Then came the great liar and his friend Jasper Green. This land's not the one I knew then. My hands fell from the book and they found that he I can hardly recall Once we honored the Lord With our songs and our prayers Now we worship with powder and ball Where have you gone, joyful valley of old Where the Canaan once ran deep and clear the fires of cross town have burned you away. You've been silent now many a year. Hi, I'm Sergeant First Class Philip Kennedy Johnson, trumpet player with the U.S. Army Field Band, and this is my home. Thanks so much for watching and for listening. Something that the U.S. Army Field Band does that I think sets it apart from similar organizations is its use of narrative in our programs, the way that we tell personal stories within our shows that helps us connect with the audience that much better. Storytelling is something I believe in, it's something I do a lot of, even outside of my career in the Army. Uh, outside of my career here, I also have a career as a writer primarily of comics and graphic novels. Something I try to do in my work is join traditional elements of writing and of visual art with elements of original music. It's something that Tolkien used to do in his own work that I always really loved. I love how he used original songs and poems and little stories within his novels that made his world seem so much more real and old and rich that uh, I, I really loved it and wanted to do it in my own work, so I try to. Um, the music you've heard up till now is part of that. The last piece you heard and the next piece you're going to hear are both companion pieces to an epic fantasy story I'm writing for DC Comics called The Last God. Uh, Hymn to Fraith, Son of Storms, the last piece, is a trumpet fanfare that uses a drone at the bottom and parallel fourths above that give it that archaic, almost religious quality. But for this next piece, I wanted um, a dark, foreboding kind of sound that I thought would be nice to hear in plucked and bowed strings. Featuring the artwork of Riccardo Federici, please enjoy this excerpt from The Last God Overture.
The best part about writing an epic fantasy story is the massive scale world building you get to do for it. The scope of the story we're doing for The Last God is so immense that it gives us opportunities to do crazy things. We are creating creatures, races, new religions, new maps and languages, and everything we can think of that this world should have. And for the music, I really wanted to include a notation that people could actually play and sing in case they wanted to hear it, so that's in there. But I also wanted to write a new notation to see what music would look like to them in this world. So whenever we have a chance to include music, we try to include both so people can play it and hear it, but also the way that they read music in that world so people can immerse themselves in the story. I've been really fortunate in my life to be surrounded by extremely creative and talented people, and I write for them whenever I can, world-class musicians and artists. And this next piece is one that I wrote with my friends in mind. This is another one from the world of the last god, a traditional elven prayer that one might sing or speak at the end of their life. It's a prayer to their goddess to not let them be awakened or corrupted after death, essentially a, a prayer for rest. Featuring my amazing friends at the Army Field Band, this is ripped from the pages of issue three of The Last God, entitled Sleep. right now. So one aspect of 2020 that has been hard is the closing of schools that, you know, can make the work-life balance tricky for a lot of people and for us too. But it has been nice to have my son around so much because he's my biggest fan and we have an awesome time together. He helps me with stories sometimes. We workshop stories together, don't we? DC versus Star Wars. Or DC versus Marvel. <clears throat> what okay. if um My buddy Ron do... did that in the nineties, we can talk to him. What about we do a Star Wars DC Marvel crossover? <laughs> oh, that would be epic. Okay, so who's so who's he bring over from Marvel? He's gonna bring up the Hulk. The Hulk. Superman versus Hulk? Yeah. Oh, you know who else I can fight? What about Thor? Superman versus Thor. Yeah, Superman epic? versus Thor. Yeah. Totally. We also have a bat cave of our own here in the house, a home gym that he calls the bat cave that we hang out in a lot. Um, we'll we'll, we'll uh, work on our strength training, or he'll play in the treadmill a bit, or we'll work on our fighting skills, right? Work on your jiu-jitsu and muay thai. So, yeah, in that regard, it's been a really good time. And you're a big help to me when I run, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. One of my favorite memories with my son is from a couple of years ago when they re-released Superman the movie in theaters for the 40th anniversary. I took him to a showing and <laughs> seeing his eyes light up when the music started and the title credits are zooming overhead. 
was just the coolest, best thing. That's a memory I'll never forget. Uh, this next piece, actually, the last piece today, is devoted to that memory. And I want to thank everyone for watching again. I hope you check out a lot more from my amazing colleagues at the Army Field Band. This is featuring Staff Sergeant Hamilton Price on bass, Staff Sergeant Andy Emmerich on drums, myself on flugelhorn, and the music of the incomparable John Williams. This is from Superman the Movie, Can You Read My Mind? A rancor. A rancor? I don't know. I feel like they could take those down pretty easy. What about we need somebody with like force powers? Darth Vader.
Oh, what about Luke? They're all good guys. How would the bad guy make it so they have to fight? Like, would they, like... Darth Vader, trick Charlie. Trick them somehow? Okay. It's going to be... Dude, this is cool. you're good at this. Or he could just be... They could just be tricked like you said. Hmm. I so who's the, So they, 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 they... All of them think the other guy is the bad guy, but then they realize they're being manipulated by this other dude. And yeah. that could mean we have, like, a Superman, Thor, Darth Vader team-up.